I'll start to do a brief introduction to the robotics field that has become one of the largest and the most rapidly growing fields of research. Mostly because intelligent robots and flexible robots, autonomous robots, uh, present key characteristics for streamlining uh, automated process, uh, such as mechanical operations. So, we have seen that in the past year, recent years, the active uh, number of active robots have been growing, and the solutions based on them also grow. So the, the need for a generic framework and a generic algorithm and uh, forms of development are also needed. The main problem of this simulator was to develop one that could uh, the cool, the resolve the uncertainty of shell in the robotic task. This is path planning, uh, having a, a non-structured environment, uh, having obstacles in the way, so on. The difficulty in the, having the cooperation between time and complexity of a robotic algorithm, having the lack of a qualific uh, standard qualification way, and also the need to develop a safe and efficient system. This problem which was uh, resolved by developing a simulator and, to, uh, uh, and this was a simulator to press to students so that they could understand the, the key, key characteristics of the robotics field. This is the scenery condition, the path planning, the motion planning, having a Low, low planning is sufficient time, uh, low is sufficient time by itself, having a modular development and so on. We suggest the students to use this uh, system architecture that we divide into three tiers. Um, the first of, uh, first of which is uh, the recognition of the environment and the planning of the, the, the action that is going to occur by using image processing, uh, using path planners and heuristics and so on. Uh, the second tire is uh, the movement and uh, the movement, the, the grabbing of the objects and, and the scene, etc. And the third is the control of, the, of all these and the, all the actions that is involved in the robotic operations. So, uh, the simulator uh, we define a very simple simulator in which we have a KUKA lightweight robot, we have an electric gripper, in this case, in this, in this uh, case it was a two-finger gripper that closes to a certain point and opens to a certain point and the precise measure I believe it's seven millimeters, and a kinetic system for the image processing and the recognition of the environment and so on. This is the aspect of the simulator, so we have the, a table uh, on which we would have uh, objects and uh, obstacles and the students who are required to uh, identify which, which of, of objects were in the table and how to get there, and etc. To do so, uh, the, the, the students uh, should use a scene recognition based on the image processing of the image we uh, draw from the Kinect camera, uh, create a 3D model, uh, classify them using the system tree, and based on the database they have of the certain objects, they could say this is object X or, or Y, and how should they handle it. Moreover, in order to get the object and then grab the object and so on, uh, the students need to have certain uh, knowledge on configuration space and kinematics. One, to divide the space involving the robot uh, and uh, the dividing that space in cells so that they could say to the robot go to that cell to grab the object and so on. And the kinematics to, to understand where they should force the robot, where to, should they activate the robot so that the robot could reach a certain point. Uh, the robot movement. Uh, for that, we, we uh, provided a generic path planner 
the students were all, uh, obviously uh, free to change that, that path planning, make it more efficient, more quicker, quicker, and so on. Uh, but uh, the path planning have, have essentially the, termina the termination of the joints of the robot so that the robot could reach certain poles. And that, uh, and obviously, had uh, quite a consideration because if we want the robot to get uh, forward or backwards, it's completely different because, because we have a six degree of freedom robot and that implies a lot of problems. And okay, we need to solve that in our generic path planning, and the students mostly use, it, use that. And finally, the control tire, the most important one was the one that uh, controlled the entire system and the, the, the students had to develop entirely in the in sense that they, they had to use the information retrieved from the cameras, identify the objects and then create a cycle of uh, picking and placing the objects in the correct poses. Finally, we check the use of the ROS framework because the ROS is a generic uh, and universal framework and tool that, will, that is already and will be even more used in the future uh, regarding uh, robotics uh, operation in general. It allows the decomplexation of problems, it allows the division of a complex problem in several simple solutions, and, and the communication between those solutions will provide the final, the final objective. And so, uh, in the moral or less uh, simple way, we found that uh, this simulator promoted uh, shown good results in terms of motivating students to develop uh, robotics uh, solutions and algorithms and uh, to, do, um, to do it in, the, in a simulator that uh, represents a real problem like uh, manipulator arms has shown then uh, extra motivation and uh, ability to understand the robotic situation and its potential. So, uh, I'm open for questions and thank you for your attention.